Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 15. And I was able to reach E2200 Infinity Points. I did, I did crunch a little bit at the beginning when I couldn't, when I wouldn't be sacrificing any replicated galaxies. I I only needed nine replicated galaxies, so that's good. So, boom, challenge complete. And I think the next thing I really want to do is grind more attorney points and time theorems because one i'm close to time study 181 and also last time i grinded attorney points this is at like three times so i'm gonna be able to get very far with this so yeah i can actually make it quite far i can get all the way to e8300 infinity points pretty quickly which is i think eight plus another seven Time theorems. So that's 15 time theorems right off the bat. And I can gain one, two, I can gain two of these multipliers and a bunch of these multipliers as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do another eternity round and let's let's see how far I can make it this time. Because I should be able to make it a bit farther, hopefully E33 or even E34 eternity points. And maybe that'll be enough for time study 181. We'll see. Okay, I can actually reach E8800 infinity points. That is another five time theorems with infinity points. And another one, two, three, four, four time theorems with antimatter. And I'm able to gain E35 infinity, or not infinity, eternity points. And I can gain another time theorem here. So... Here we go. This is enough to actually get two more turning point multipliers, which is insane. Plus a few more of these. Not as many as before, but still a decent amount. And let's see how many time theorems I can get. I can get 13 additional time theorems with eternity points. So I'm I'm getting closer and closer to time study 181. I I want to do one more run because I got two more turning point multipliers and those are pretty good. I'm also getting pretty close to this this one. There is upgrade here. It's E40 eternity points, and it seems pretty good. It's time dimensions are multiplied by your unspent time theorems. And it's 164 times, at least, if I had got it right now. So I can gain two more time theorems here and four E36 attorney points. It's actually just enough to get an attorney point multiplier. And since it's only barely enough, I kind of want to do one, just one more run. I, I know it's becoming like civilization in that just one more turn, just one more run. But I I think I think this is the last one. I'm not I'm definitely not going to be able to reach this multiplier. And this is going to give me a lot of extra time theorems. I, I can gain a few here, but I'm going to gain a lot more if I just do one more run. Okay, I can get even more time theorems here. I can get one, two, three, four, five, six additional time theorems, and e or three e thirty seven eternity points. So I'm not sure how how many of them I want to go into time theorems, and how many I want to go into something like time study one eighty one, or uh, saving up for time study one eighty one. I'm getting very close. I'm not quite there yet, at least if I want to do a full study tree, it might be worth it, at least for quicker runs, to get it, but I'm not really sure at this point. I'm going to spend the rest of them on time dimensions. I'm going to, I'm going to try to go into some challenges here. I can already go into Attorney Challenge 6 and 7, but 7 is not going to be the greatest at this point. So I'm going to, I'm going to do Attorney Challenge 6 right here. And... Also, I think with that E37, I didn't grind Eternities to get the 10 times boost. Whatever. I think I'll be fine. I hope. Whatever. I'm just going to try this challenge. If it doesn't work, I can probably just get more Eternity points. I'll do just one more run, just like before. Well, this is interesting. I'm at E1300 Infinity Points. It, it's looking like it's probably not possible, but... I'm getting a bit farther than I think I would have. It seems to have a low friction and that I can get more, like, I'm still getting a decent amount of stuff 
for every every run. Like I'm not I'm not losing that many orders of magnitude infinity points each additional run, if that makes any sense. But this might be the end. I can't really reach much higher. I can get two more replicated galaxies this way, but I don't think even with this yeah, I'm not gonna get to E1600, so I have to I have to exit this challenge and do do just one more run. And it's okay that this is actually here because it's it's actually doing basically nothing at this point. I can still just get a turn new points as usual. So yeah, just one more run. Okay, I can gain an additional three more time theorems with infinity points and two more time theorems with antimatter. And 4.5 E38 attorney points. This is enough to get this upgrade and several more time theorem. I'm actually going to buy max here. And I'm very close to being able to get 1E1 normally. Like, I can just skip either like 161 or 162 and I'll be able to get it. So that is really nice. I'm also able to get a couple of these. Doesn't really matter much. And I want to show you what time study 181 is going to be like so it's going to be almost the same tree except i'm going to skip 162 that's that's literally the only difference and here we go i can get time study 181 which is the you gain one percent of your infinity points gain on crunch each second basically it makes big crunching almost useless because i gain all my infinity points without needing to crunch now i still need to um, crunch to get in well okay first of all this is still active for some reason so I should probably disable that and I still need to crunch to get infinity points and at least if I'm going active crunch crunching will reset this multiplier which might mean I might want to start going idle eventually at least in challenges uh, but the thing is I can't really use this study in challenges because they all cost time theorems Look how much quicker this is. It is amazing that how much quicker this is. It's not it's not really well it's not OP yet because I'm skipping 162, which means I'm not really gonna be able to make it as far, but it's gonna be a lot better for if I just wanna go for eternity points. So there we go. I just got about eight E thirty eight eternity points at E thirty nine per minute. And now I'm not able to gain any more time studies, but I'm still going to be able to get eternity points quickly. And that's what matters more, at least at this point. I'm trying to get this upgrade because this will really help in some challenges. Maybe I don't even need that. Maybe I just need a few more time theorems and I'll get that with eternity points. So I can gain 1.75 E39 attorney points. I think, I still think the best option is to, well, I can only get one of them. Okay, never mind. I'll buy, I'll use the rest to get some time theorems. I just need four time theorems to get 162. Maybe the game is telling me I should go into one more eternity challenge and try to, and try to beat it. Well, anyway. 1.7 E39 attorney points. It's enough to get two time dimension things. Wait, no, still no. That's kind of crap. It's weird. It's almost slow right now, and that's weird. But it's mostly just because the eternity runs are a lot quicker. I'm gaining less orders of magnitude of attorney points per run, but I don't need to wait 10 minutes to get eternity points every single time. So that that that's really the nice thing about time study 181 and i can get i guess a little bit more it's not actually that much better i can get i'm just gonna keep getting all of these until this one i guess it seems like i'm getting about one time dimension multiplier every eternity actually no i need to i need to do the 10 eternities why do i keep forgetting to do this so now i can gain 2.2 e39 attorney points which is just enough to get this, and hopefully, let's see how many time theorems I can get. I can get one, two, three. I still need just three more time theorems. I can't believe how how close this is. Maybe I really should go for Eternity Challenge 4, but that's the, the nasty one that requires 
a ridiculous amount of infinities. So I I really want to avoid that at like all costs. Actually, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to do everything except Time Study 33. Because I'm just two away at this point because I purchased one more. And I'm not crunching, so that, that Time Study is completely useless. So I can just do this, get everything including 162 and 181. And now I can, I can basically do the entire thing as normal, and I'll be gaining hopefully a lot more. I'll probably be getting at least enough time theorems to gain time study 33. If not, getting maybe the E40 attorney point multiplier, or even this upgrade or something. So yeah, that's pretty good. So here it is. I'm getting some time theorems. There's, and I mean, there's not much else to say about this. I might just wait it out. So I just gained six time theorems there, and I can gain enough eternity points to get either one of these upgrades. I probably want to get the multiplier first because the multiplier is always it's always good. It's five times, and then I'm gonna do one more eternity to get this upgrade, and then I'll go back to the challenges. Okay, here we go. Five e forty eternity points. So enough to get, of course, this upgrade and a bunch of these. But I, I was looking at my challenges. I don't really have any challenges I can do except four, which is nasty. Because I tried Attorney Challenge 6 recently. I just got out of an hour-long Attorney Challenge 8. I'm not going to be able to get this much easily. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit different with 181. No, but I can't actually use 181 in the challenge because it costs time theorems. And then I feel like I remember doing this and I was very close to the goal. So I think the only thing I can do is unfortunately I have to grind infinities and look at this. I'm actually getting more time theorems without even trying because of all the stuff I'm buying that rhymes. So I think what I'm just stuck doing at this point is, okay, I'll get this time theorem and I now have to grind infinities. So um, second crunches, get this. So it is going to be a little bit better, at least because of a few things. Or not a few things, just one thing. And this is the dimension boosts I'm getting. Previously, I was getting about like 1100. Now I'm getting like 19 something or 1900 something. So this means I'm going to be able to get almost twice the amount of infinities as before, which is pretty nice, but it. This, this infinity grinding is never nice. It's still going to take a very long time to complete all of this crap. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I barely have enough infinities here, but I do. And this is interesting. I can actually gain time theorems because of how far I've been... I've been able to make it just grinding infinities because I don't need that many replicated galaxies and I can get all the studies that like make replica replicating faster and I keep half my replica replicated galaxies on infinity. So that's interesting. And there is another interesting thing. I can actually get E42 eternity points, which is more than more than ever. But because this is eternity challenges, or at least previously how it worked, is if I go into an eternity challenge, I would not get any of these eternity points. Another reason why I wasn't, why I didn't like eternity challenges, or at least the fate of eternity challenges, all that much. But maybe it's changed with the reality update. We're we're gonna see, because really, it's gonna take longer grinding these infinities than actually getting the eternity points. So let's start. I actually do get the eternity points. So. Thank you. That's such a good quality of life thing. Also, please stop crunching. There you go. That's such a good quality of life feature. Thank you. Because now I can actually do stuff. I can grind it. I can kill two birds with one stone. Grind infinities and eternity points. So, there we go. And, yeah, I'm able to just use three infinities to reach the goal. It, again, this is one of those challenges where... The requirement is a lot worse than the actual challenge. So, what is my reward for this challenge? 
doing it all over again. Infinity grinding included. Yay! I also did forget to mention, I actually did crunch. I noticed I had the wrong study tree, so I just crunched off camera. Not crunch. I, I, ch I changed my time study tree off camera. So, yeah, if you were wondering about that, that's, that, that's why. I can actually also gain a few of these and I guess also some of these, but it's kind of useless at this point. So, yeah, see you in another long while. Okay, I finally have enough infinities grinded. This time I'm going to remember to disable the automatic big crunch. And actually, before I enter the challenge, I'm just going to get some more time theorems. I can get four here and four there and gain even more eternity points while I'm at it. So, well, I know I don't want to eternity because I want to, I want to enter the challenge. So there we go. Unlock and start. This means I can get this and... What, what, what do I even need for the challenge? I need E4400 infinity points in four crunches. So this is going to be a little bit harder, but it's really not going to be that bad. Because, yeah, here's three, and then here is four, and I can big crunch to complete the challenge. So there we go. Two more iterations of this, ch this crazy, stupid challenge, and... Now, I'm not really sure what I want to do. So, I could get... I'm probably going to get more of these. I can also get even more time theorems. And if I load into my standard thing, I have... I can get time study 181 with 36 time theorems to spare. So, I'm not really sure... Um, that's, that's not enough to get time study 181 in any challenge. Which means that I do have to wait on Eternity Challenge for fifth time because this is the challenge where I need to do it without any without any infinities. So there's that. Well, whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.